Hello, everyone. My name is Christine. I'm going to talk about the topic business applications of Web 2.0 and social network. In this course, I will introduce you the commercial aspects of Web 2.0 and social network marketing. Implementing Web 2.0 applications, especially social networks and similar communities, attract a large number of visitors. Therefore, it provides an opportunity for vendors to advertise and try to sell to community members. Many people believe that social networks, blogging, and other Web 2.0 activities will play a major role in the future of e-commerce. So, what kinds of benefits that retailers can get from online communities? First. Consumers can provide feedback on the design of proposed or existing products, a marketing and advertising campaign, on how well customer services and support are performing. All of this can lead to improvements and innovations for manufacturers and retailers. Second, word of mouth or viral marketing is free advertising. It can increase the visibility of niche retailers and products. Third, such kind of viral marketing can increase website traffic and bring more ad dollars. Finally, using the technology based on personal preferences, such as recommendation technologies, increases sales. The collaborative filtering is a widely used method. It is based on collecting and analyzing a large amount of information on users' behaviors, activities, or preferences, and then predicting what users will like based on the, their similarities to other users. For companies, the online communities and Web 2.0 technology can increase revenue and profit. Many advertisers are placing ads with user searches in social networking sites such as MySpace, Facebook, YouTube, and so on. Although a social media campaign may have a small impact on actual online retail sales, it may have huge benefits with regard to increasing brand awareness. So, what is social network advertising? It is an online advertising that focuses on social networking sites. That is, it uses social networks, blogs, or wikis to advertise. Let's watch the video which talks about the social media marketing. We're Upside Down Iceberg. I'm Jody Underhill. And I'm Eric Curry. In the next three minutes, we're going to give you an overview of social media, why it's critical to your business, and the secret formula to your success online. The yellow pages, newspaper ads, and thanks to TiVo, even television commercials are going by the way of the 8-track player, the Milkman, and the Pony Express. Today, if people want to find out information, they go straight to the Internet. People have access to the Internet at their home, their office, in their car, and in many cases, even in their pocket. It's no wonder Google has over 200 million lookups every single day. With over 6 billion lookups every month, people are certainly looking up the products or services your company offers. If you're not putting that information online, who is? There are tons of sites online that are making it simple for the average user to get content on the Internet. These sites are referred to as social media because they use media. And since you're interacting with so many people on these sites, they're quite social. Some of the biggest challenges people have when trying to market their business through social media is where to start, how to effectively use their time, and how do they all work together. Shh! Don't tell anyone, but there are really only four steps. One, find people. Two, give content. Three, capture their information. Four, stay in touch so you can sell them stuff. Here's another breakthrough in social media. You do not make money with social media. You make money by doing business with people that know, like, and trust you. You market with social media to develop 
relationships with people so they will know, like, and trust you. Then and only then will they buy from you. Instead of overloading yourself with thousands of social media sites, you can use some of the most popular search engine friendly sites to accomplish these tasks. Find people interested in your products or services with the search tools from the 355 million people on Facebook, the 35 million business people on LinkedIn, or the estimated 50 million people who will be using Twitter by the end of the year. Provide content, not commercials. Content on the sites like the second most utilized search engine, YouTube. You can also write articles for online magazines like eZine, or make your own mini website or lenses on Squidoo. You can make a blog or set up hub pages or do about anything that delivers content like how-to videos or frequently asked questions about your area of expertise. You then make a lead capture page which offers people something of high perceived value and ethical bribe for giving you their name and email. This will allow you to send emails or newsletters and stay with, in touch with people who have requested more information from you and now see you as an expert. What does all of this do? One, it makes you credible. Two, increases referrals. Three, builds new relationships. Four, demands higher prices. Five, gives you outstanding visibility. Six, it increases familiarity. Seven, builds trust. Eight, you can then offer your product or services. Nine, because you are the perceived expert. In other words, it makes you top of mind. It helps people know, like, and trust you. Congratulations, you now get it. That's social media marketing. I'm Eric Currit. I'm Jody Underhill. We're Upside Down Iceberg. Our niche is helping you expose yours. The Social Network is a kind of viral marketing or word-of-mouth marketing, which customers promote a product or service by telling others about it. For example, when a person likes a certain product or service, he may tell his friends or our friends' friends. Such advertising method works effectively and rapidly. The product or service that people like can spread very quickly to millions of people at a minimum cost to companies. There is a funny video to explain the concept of viral marketing. Let's watch the video. What is viral marketing? Well, let's put it this way. It's like a word of mouth or a buzz. Sometimes it's called marketing buzz. Why? Like, for example, you do something funny. Your mother shared this with the neighbor, and the neighbor shared it with your teacher, who in turn told his class. In less than a month, the whole city, yeah, the whole city, knows your embarrassing experience. Now, let's take out the embarrassing experience in the equation and replace it with your idea. Imagine how effective this kind of marketing would be. Why are people so compelled to share, for example, your embarrassing moment? It's simple. People are social. If you find something interesting, you tend to share it with your close friends. And your friends have friends and so on. And interesting is not just limited to an embarrassing moment. With today's internet technology, the word of mouth strategy has just gotten better. The Internet has become more social than ever. With a variety of social networking sites, you are not only connected to your city, but the whole world. To have a successful viral marketing, you need to have two things, the right message and the right connection. A message can be anything, but here at Plainly Simple Studios, we provide you plain and simple ideas. Why simple and plain? Because we value your message more than anything else. We believe that simple is indeed better, and that simple is better to understand. Take, for example, these two guys watching a very cool yet complicated video. Yo, bro, take a look at this very cool video. Cool effects, man. What's it about? Uh, well, uh, some cool robots. Not very useful. If this was a plainly simple video, it would have been like this. Yo, bro, take a look at this cool video. I can really understand it now. What's it about? Viral marketing. Oh, man, cool. Now I know what viral marketing means. Thanks, man. I'm going to tell on this. Now, that's the first step in viral marketing. 
Second is to utilize the right connections, for example, posting the video on YouTube. And let's say it gets viewed by someone who in turn posts it in his Facebook account, and that gets seen by a famous blogger who embeds the video in his blog, just like how you found this video of ours. There are three types of social network advertising. The first type is direct advertising that is based on your network of friends. This can be an extremely effective mode as often people make decisions to purchase something or do something based on their close group of friends. However, there is also a lot of controversy surrounding this, so it can be considered using the personal relationships you have with your friends and also raises privacy concerns. The second type is direct mark advertising placed on your social network site. There are two differences. One is that these social networks can take advantage of demographic data on your profile and then target the ad directly to you. Secondly, ad can also be placed by individual developers on their application pages through ad networks. This ad could generate income for application developers, giving the future motivation to create apps and giving advertisers a more engaging way to reach out social networking users. The third type is indirect advertising by creating groups or pages that user can choose to join. Fans or subscribers of groups can be used to market a contest, a new product, or simply just to increase brand awareness. The groups can quickly grow in numbers of subscribers and become a very effective marketing tool. There is a video for you. This video discusses the marketing concepts on Facebook and how to build your brand with Facebook. Let's watch the video. How do you build your business? You work hard to establish a brand. You strive to meet your customers' needs every day. You listen to their feedback and develop meaningful relationships with them. You welcome their referrals and grow networks. But how do you reach more people and still build authentic relationships? What if there was a way to engage all your customers anytime? What if it was easy to foster a strong community around your brand? Your customers are on Facebook every day. It's an essential part of their daily life. They engage with each other, sharing their passions with like-minded individuals. They join in conversations and continuously discover content that is meaningful to them. It's an active and authentic audience made of real individuals with real interests of a size and scale that has never been seen before. And they're talking about their favorite brands. On Facebook, you can join in the conversation. Create your own page where you help stimulate discussion around your product. Run highly effective ads that engage people when they're most likely to connect with your brand. Create a poll. Ask customers for feedback or to RSVP to an event. Every time someone interacts with your ads, it's shared with their network of friends. Their personal recommendations offer the strongest kind of endorsement and result in a dramatic increase in brand lift. With Facebook, you build community by sharing meaningful content and by empowering your customers to spread the word for you. You can reach hundreds of millions of people on a global scale, or precisely the ones that matter to you most. The world has gone social. Be part of the conversation. To let you understand the social network advertising, I take the Facebook as an example. Facebook ads give you the ability to advertise directly to specific demographic groups. This is the most popular form of online advertising, which only lets you to bid on keywords the user is searching for right now. In the Facebook, you can set some criteria for your advertisement, such as location, 
exact keywords: education, workplace, relationship status, relationship interest, and languages. Based on these criteria, you can determine what kind of customer that you want to target and advertise. In the textbook, the age is shown in the right hand side. Such age is matched with the profile of members. For example, if a person likes the sport, the age on his Facebook may be sport-related age. You can design what kinds of messages are in your age. First, you have to decide the age message, including a title and body, to attract Facebook members. Then you also can use an image, which could be combined with the eight message to increase the attraction of your eight. The eight also include the destination URL to refer the Facebook members to the company's website. In addition, the social action is optional. You can determine what social action have in your eight. What is social actions? Social actions show related stories about a user's friends alongside your ad. People can vote whether they like or dislike your ad. Facebook allows companies or people control their budget easily. You can specify a daily budget and then schedule specific dates for your ad to run. Then you have to decide how to pay for your ad. There are two options. Pay for click CPC or pay for impressions CPM. Whether you should choose CPC or CPM completely depends on your goal. If you are trying to simply get traffic to a website or promote a one-off product or event, then CPC is the way to go. CPM means the cost per one thousand impressions. If you want to build brand awareness about an event or product, you need to consider CPM. You will always pay less for one thousand impressions than you will for a single click. Facebook Insights provides information about your ad campaign. You can track ad performances with real-time reporting and gain demographic and psychographic insight about people. That view or take action on your ad. Such kinds of information can help you improve your campaign to maximize your results. Do you want to have a successful ad on the Facebook? There are some suggestions for you when you advertise the product or service on Facebook. First, you have to identify clear goal for your ad and know who you are trying to reach. Then ensure ad headline, copy, and image is relevant. The experiment is necessary to get it right. Moreover, using the tools that are provided by Facebook to monitor your campaign and adjust. Finally, the most important thing is that you have to know when to quit. There is a video to explain how advertising works on Facebook. From this video, you will understand why you see ads on Facebook, and what information that the advertiser can use in their ads campaign. Let's watch the video. Why do I see the ads I see? On Facebook, you see a lot of information every day. Your friends post status updates, pictures, and interesting content from all over the web. You also see ads and other information from advertisers. We think relevant advertising is good for your overall experience on Facebook. For example, if I'm interested in camping, an ad for a sale on tents would be really relevant to me. In this video, we want to show you why you see ads on Facebook and what information advertisers can use when they're planning their ad campaigns. So let's stick with our example about tents. Let's say you're an advertiser who has a really good offer on tents and there are a lot of people on Facebook who might want one. You get started in our online advertising system. The first step in creating the ad is the design. 
you first need to choose the destination URL for your ad. For example, an ad may lead to your website or directly to your Facebook page. Then you'll need a title, the ad text, and you'll need to select an image. Next, you'll select which users you want to see the ad. In the case of tents, you may want to advertise to people who live near national parks or mountains. For example, people living in Northern California, Oregon, Montana, or Wyoming. And you can choose some basic demographic information like age and gender. Let's say you want to show your ad to people between 18 and 45 because you think that's a pretty good age range for your tents. And you can select keywords to find people who might be interested in tents. For example, people who have said in their interest section that they like camping, hiking, kayaking, and rafting might be in the market for a tent. You can choose other criteria as well, including education, workplace, relationship status, and language. But to sell tents, you might not be that concerned with those things for now. Once you hit continue, the ad is done and the group of people you have selected may now see the ad. It's important to point out that you don't see any personally identifiable information and our system does not let you target individuals. That means that you don't see the profiles of the group you selected. You only see that X number of people on Facebook fit your criteria and might be interested in tents. Here's our reporting tool which shows various categories like impressions, clicks, and spend, and provides statistics for each. No individual profile information is shared. We try to give you as much control as possible over the ads you see. If you see an ad you don't like or isn't relevant, you can always click the X button next to the ad to stop seeing it. And if you see a great one, you can like it just as you can with other content on Facebook. We work hard every day to make sure that the ads you see on Facebook are relevant, useful, and respect your privacy. So the next time you're looking for a 10, you may just find it on Facebook. I have listed several activities of enterprise social networks. The first is finding and recruiting workers. For example, recruiting is a major activity at LinkedIn and was the driver for the site's development. Companies must look at the global market for talent, and they can use global social networking sites to find the employees. Second, the companies can analyze the data collected in social networks to support their manageable decision-making and activities. For example, identifying key performers, locating experts, and finding paths to access them Soliciting ideas and possible solutions to complex problems are based on the analysis of companies' social networks. Third, several companies use enterprise social networking and virtual world in particular training purpose. For example, Cisco and IBM use the second line to train their employees. The enterprise social network can be used to support knowledge discovery, creation, maintenance, sharing, transferring, and dissemination in companies. Also, expert discovery and mapping community of expertise could be done by analyzing the social networks. Collaboration in social networking is done both internally and externally. That is, the social network can support the collaboration among employees from different units, and the collaboration with suppliers customers, and other business partners. Such collaboration is done mostly in forums and other types of groups, and by using wiki and blog. Therefore, the blogs and wikis are very useful tools in enterprise to facilitate collaboration, communication, and training. This picture explains how Web 2.0 application can generate revenue it shows users' contributions and the relationship among people, advertising, and the Web 2.0 tools, such as MeshUp. The web applications may generate revenue through subscription fees and advertisements. In addition, 
Web 2.0 tools can generate revenue growth, user growth, and increased resistance to competition. In turn, they also lead to increased subscriptions, advertising, and commission revenue. Now, I'm going to introduce a social network for business, which is called LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a business-oriented social networking site mainly used for professional networking. It has more than 33 million registered users spanning 150 industries around the world. LinkedIn can be used to find job people, potential clients, service providers, subject experts, and other business opportunities. How much powerful the LinkedIn is? There is a video to explain this. Let's watch the video. Stats reveal that 82% of businesses are attempting to use social media in some way to drive traffic, get exposure, and build their brand. In fact, according to Alexa Top 500 Global Sites, the most popular social media platforms, including Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Blogger, WordPress, and LinkedIn, are among the top 25 visited sites in the world. All of this sounds great, but the big elephant in the room is the countless hours you spend on these sites with little or no return on your investment. These sites can be enticing to us because they are free to use and they're growing at an incredible rate. But when users spend a majority of their time playing Farmville or tweeting about what they ate for dinner last night, it's hard to see how opportunities are made and business relationships are created. LinkedIn is the answer to those problems. Since 2007, I have dedicated countless hours to understanding and implementing LinkedIn strategies to grow my network and, most importantly, my net worth. And whether you're a business owner, entrepreneur, industry professional, or simply a motivated individual seeking a new job in this economy, you can no longer afford to ignore LinkedIn. LinkedIn is the number one social networking site for business professionals looking to do more business. In fact, while everyone shouted about the massive growth Facebook and Twitter have seen, LinkedIn has quietly doubled in size in the past year. And at over 80 million members strong, they are seeing an ex exponential growth of more than one user added every single second. More importantly, through my experience, I've seen nothing but a higher quality of membership and interaction on LinkedIn than any other social network. In fact, Executives from all Fortune 500 companies are registered on LinkedIn. When seeking new business and networking opportunities, 45% of LinkedIn's members are considered the majority decision makers for their companies, as opposed to Twitter and Facebook at just around 25 to 29%. LinkedIn also has the highest average household income per user over every other major social networking site in the world. Bottom line, when using LinkedIn, you are dealing strictly with individuals of high caliber and a business mindset focused on networking for results. It's Let's watch a video which explains how the LinkedIn works. It seems like everyone is a member of LinkedIn these days. You've got an online profile that represents your professional experience, education, and recommendations, and you have connections to people that you know and trust. You get the emails, but now what? We are here to show you that LinkedIn isn't about building connections. It's about helping you be more productive. Here's one way to think about it. To accomplish a goal, we need to see the path that will get us there. Often, our people networks can point us in the right direction, but it's too hard to see who knows whom. The networks are often hidden from view. It's like trying to drive to a destination without maps or signs. Intersections feel lonely and confusing. LinkedIn solves this problem by making professional connections visible. When you have a professional need in your daily life, LinkedIn helps make the path visible so you can ask the right questions and make the right decisions. Here's how it works. Meet Lori. She owns a small engineering firm and has been a long-time LinkedIn member. She has a lot of connections, but never knew what was possible. 
Recently, she closed a few big deals, her business changed, and her to-do list grew. She needed to find a new ad agency and raise some funding. Lori's friend suggested taking another look at LinkedIn. This time, she didn't just see a group of connections, but a network that's alive and ready to help. Lori decided to use her network to get things done. Lori's brand needs a very particular kind of ad agency. Instead of searching the web or browsing the yellow pages, she reached out to connections on LinkedIn whom she knew would have solid feedback on ad agencies. Within days, her network had helped her find three contacts at trusted agencies. She was ready to move on. To keep her business growing, she needed funding, but didn't know where to begin. So, she did an advanced search for investors who specialize in her kind of company and found that trusted investors were in her network. All she needed was an introduction from her connections. Her network connected her to the right people and gave her a chance to shine. For the first time, Lori saw LinkedIn differently. Instead of just being a group of connections, now her network is alive and easy to navigate, especially in accomplishing goals. Lori is just one of millions of connections on LinkedIn. No matter what your profession, people, knowledge, and opportunities are at your fingertips. Get started or give your network another look at LinkedIn.com. Now you know the LinkedIn and how it works. Let's see what kinds of features that LinkedIn has. First of all, a major purpose of LinkedIn is to allow registered users to maintain a list of contact details of people they know and trust in business. The people in each list are called connections. Users can invite anyone, whether they are a LinkedIn user or not, to become a connection. The contact network makes it possible for a professional to gain an introduction to someone he or she wishes to know through a mutual trusted contact. When people join, they create a profile that summarizes their professional accomplishments. The profile makes it possible to find and be founded by former colleagues, clients, and partners. The searchable LinkedIn Groups feature allows users to establish new business relationships by joining alumni, industry, or professional, and other relevant groups. LinkedIn is especially useful in helping job seekers and employees to find jobs. Job seekers can list their resumes, search for open positions, check company profiles, and even review the profiles of hiring managers. Companies can use the site to post jobs and find and recruit employees, especially those who may not be actively searching for new positions. That's all for this class. Thanks for your listening. See you next time.